Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and today I'm going to teach you how to run Hogwarts Legacy from Dodi on the Steam Deck. In order to follow this video, you must have the game files already on your Steam Deck. If you don't know how to install the game from within your Steam Deck, I will link a tutorial in the description. But I highly suggest if you have a Windows PC, just install the game on that PC and then transfer the files on your Steam Deck. It will be faster, trust me. So let's say you have the files on your Steam Deck. You're gonna need these two files and a GE Proton. Double click on Hogwarts Fix that desktop. By the way, this file is almost the same as my uh, script for my previous Hogwarts Legacy video, but this one is better because it's easier to use. Okay, so just double click on it, type your root password, press OK, and then in your case, it's going to install and then reboot the Steam Deck, but in my case, it just closed up because I already did this before for testing purposes. So after your Steam Deck reboots, go back to desktop mode and we can continue. By the way, if you're wondering how to set up the root password, just go to your console and then type P-A-S-S-W-D. And then you must type your password here twice, but while typing, it will not show you what you're typing, so be careful. The next step is installing Lutris. In my case, I already have it installed, but if you don't know how to install it, just go to the Discover store and then type Lutris. And then install this one, okay? The next is go to the Discover store and search for this one, Proton Up QT. Install it, run it, and then make sure that Lutris Flatpak is selected. Click Add Version, 1GE, and then whatever appears here should be the latest one. In my case, it's GE Proton 8-26. Click Install, close it. Now open up Lutris, okay? And then press plus. Add locally installed game. I'm naming it Hogwarts because I have Hogwarts Legacy in my library and it's a legit copy, so I don't want you guys to get confused. See, this one, that's my own copy. I'm gonna name it Hogwarts. Uh, runner is gonna be Wine. Go to Game Options. Executable. Find wherever you install the game. In my case, it's Home, Deck, Games, and Hogwarts Legacy. Then go to Phoenix. Go to Binaries, Win64. Click this Hogwarts Legacy.exe, press OK. On the one prefix, click the three dots. If you don't have it, make a folder for Lutris prefixes. In my case, it's on home deck prefixes. And then I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna name it Hogwarts. OK. And then press OK. That's it. On the runner, I'm gonna leave it on default, but you could also select Lutris G Proton 826. If you have these, it also works. It doesn't have to be very specific. Just use the latest one that you have. Press save. After saving, click here. Run exe inside one prefix. Go to downloads. And then select VC Redis. Press OK. Sometimes this takes a few minutes. There we go. Install it. Done. And then we can now try playing it. See if it runs. Nice. So the game is running. That's good news, but we have to make sure that the gamepad is working and that the game is working on gaming mode because in a lot of cases, when you install a Quack game on the Steam Deck, the game works on the desktop mode, but not on the gaming mode. And by the way, for some reason, this game takes a while to launch. And then when it launches, it will crash a few times until you start the game. The game closed, right? I didn't close that, it just crashed. So we're gonna go to the gaming mode and then try the game there. Now, in order to test it on gaming mode, you're going to have to right click on Hogwarts and then create Steam shortcut. And then now we go to the gaming mode. Okay, we're now in gaming mode and we're going to test Hogwarts. But if Hogwarts is not present here, just go to your library, non-Steam, and then it should be here. Okay, so we're going to run it here and then see if the gamepad is working. Okay, it seems that it's running now. Anytime now, my Steam Deck might either crash the game or restart the whole Steam Deck itself. But uh, let's uh, hope for the best. Good news, gamepad is working. Let's try to start the game. Cause sometimes the game lets you in in this part, but it's not actually gonna let you play the game. Okay, that's a lot of DLC stuff. Wow, okay, it's still going. I'm gonna speed up to the very end cause I'm not gonna customize that. Start journey. Frame rate is pretty good, but it's a cutscene, so we don't know anything yet. Let's see if it's uh, going to perform like that after we get out of the cave. Okay, performance is pretty good. 
purpose. Professor Fig, hurry up. Cop kill do. Professor Fig. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Riparo. Hell yeah. I'm getting carried away by the game. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you're enjoying the game and thank you for watching.